And uh, this lady here in the pink hat, she is the current indoor world champion. So they've had a really good indoor season and uh, they'll be looking forward to shooting some tens out here today. So Natalie Avdievo is the indoor world champion. Victoria Balzanova and Alexandra Savankova are the lineup for the Russian team. Stadium announcer getting the order of the athletes wrong there. And here are their opponents, Chen Yi Xuan, Ling Mingjin, and Huan Yi Ro. Again, match statistics very, very close between the two teams. No real surprise to see these teams competing on a final stage. But when you look at the top half of the draw, the biggest shock was Korea going out in the round of 16 to Kazakhstan. And it kind of opened the draw up for Russia. Yeah, of course, Russia had to beat India, who uh, were world ranking fifth, and uh, Russia were world ranking sixth. So that was a big win for them to get into the gold medal match. Well, the judge is ready. Keep relax. Here we are for the gold medal match in the women's team compound, and it's Russia to shoot first. So you can see she's just changing her sight mark on the bow there. So a lineup of three athletes in each team. They'll shoot two arrows each per end and straight down the barrel of the gun. Absolutely exactly. perfect. We call that hitting the spider. So there's a little cross in the middle of the target base there. If you hit that little cross, you've hit the spider. Another 10. <laughs> So the first arrow drifted up a little bit, but the second two athletes from Russia scoring perfect tens. Ten. Oh, that's good. So that is on the line, but that is, that is in. So if you're on the line between uh, two of the scoring rings, you get the higher score. So Chinese Taipei need a 10 just to keep the scores the same. Oh, oh, nice X. X. So that is 10 points. Good shot, just like that, they've tied the scores. Well, out of a possible 30 points over the first three arrows, both teams just drop one point. Three more to go from each team in the first end. Oh, she won't be happy with that eight, oh. especially for a gold medal match. He talked about the sight, and we can just see that uh, on the bow. But wh when do you adjust your sight, and when do you adjust your aim? So you adjust your, well, it depends on the archer, so I would always adjust my sight. And um, I mean, some archers just aim off. Keep that tempo. And that's a good tempo. Keep that tempo. Just out. So close. Now, Lisa, there's two targets there. Uh, are the athletes allowed to shoot at both, or do they choose? Or so it depends on the team. Uh, generally, each archer will shoot one arrow into each target face. We call them a, a target face, the piece of paper that you're aiming at. 
and the um, the ten but um, some archers they prefer to shoot two shots in one and then the other Just teammate relax. shoots one in each and another teammate will shoot two in one so it's kind of up to your team dynamics and what what you guys prefer to aim at seven seconds on the clock and that is the ten. well first dead and uh First blood to Chinese Taipei, 58 to 56. Some pretty high scoring stuff there, dropping just two of the possible 60 points here in the gold medal match. It's Chinese Taipei, they beat Mexico, and they also beat Netherlands this week. So it's a huge, huge team almost, you know, that they've, they've had to knock out to get to this gold medal match. So. They, they'll be happy with their performance regardless of what happens here today. And this momentum build across the tournament as you as you win, or are the breaks in the competition, do they sort of reset you? Yeah. It sort of depends yeah. if you're you're winning or losing. Yeah. If, just one or two. If you're um you know, if you're going through wins then that's gonna help. Sometimes the breaks will put you off and another day you might not Famous. feel yourself. But uh, I think here with Chinese Taipei they know that they've knocked out some big teams this week, so I think as a team they okay. look pretty comfortable. So on we, the we should stick in again, okay? Well, they've just confirmed the score here in Shanghai, and the Russians actually Keep snuck an extra yeah. point there on the confirmation and only trail yeah. by Practice. one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so Russia will shoot first this time as they're the trailing team. Here in the background, the Russian team cheering their, their, their team on, willing them to get those turns. So, Russia to shoot first in the second end of the gold medal match, the women's team compound event. And that is a 10. Lovely shot. They'll be happy with that. Just low. Uh, strong. Relax. So as long as Chinese Taipei, yeah. I guess, do something silly like we saw in the bronze medal match, then Russia will be okay. First three Stay arrows on. from Russia yeah. in the Ten target face. Hello. 28 Hello. points out of a possible 30. East Taipei firing second here. Good shot. Excellent. Nice. So I don't think they're going to be doing anything silly today. They're going to be getting those tens. Good there you go. And another one. Just increasing the lead Sorry. with every arrow. Nine. Yes. We're just dropping Leo into job. a nine. Leo job. But like you say, Lucy, they're just building on this lead. And the key thing here is they look very, very relaxed. And they're taking a breather in between their shots as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any pressure is affecting them. But that's a great recovery there from the Russians. Slightly high, and they won't be happy with that. She keeps adjusting her sight. She knows that she's not hitting that dead center shot. Okay, this one, testing, ready? That but her teammate does. Yeah, that was a big one. That was really important. But a big opportunity still for Chinese Taipei to build on the lead in the second end of the gold medal match. Three more arrows to come from them. Yep. Beautiful. This, uh, this girl is doing so well today. 
So many turns. Don't follow through. Especially if you're first. Really helps your teammates to focus. Oh. Bit of a dodgy yeah, shot. I nine, think nine, that's ten, a nine. Four. Right side. This one. Remember, aiming always move. Yeah? Always move. Final. Yeah? Just keep, keep going. Steady. Stand. Beautiful. Yeah. They seem very comfortable on this stage. Now, will that last arrow need to be checked? It was pretty close to the line. Three o'clock. I spoke with the coach just before the medal matches today, and he was very, very relaxed with the team on the, on the practice field. They all looked very chilled out, and it's so crucial, isn't it, to have a calm and serene mind. Yeah, as you can see in the uh, bronze medal match, there were sort of nerves and changes in mood, and that sort of affected the arrows and put some bad shots in there. But in this gold medal match, everyone seems really steady and sort of, you know, motivated to just get tense. Well, they can Always see that the close. wind conditions Always are absolutely close. perfect here, but it is very, very humid in Shanghai. And Chinese Taipei leading by two points at the halfway stage of the gold medal match here, and it will be Russia to shoot first again. The relaxed team from Chinese Taipei. <sighs> now, if you're standing next to them, Lucy, and you're on the opposing team and you trail by two halfway through the team match, what's the tension like? Oh, it, it's, it's pretty, it is pretty intense. You know you have to get tens just to try and build up those points. Yes. Good start. There you go. And then not only can okay. you Remember? have to Keep get talking. tens, you have Front to hope side. that the opposing Check team win doesn't get tense. Starts dropping yeah, points, yeah. Time, and if they don't, your pressure builds even more. Again, a little bit of movement there. Oh. So that second arch, she just doesn't, she hasn't quite got the, uh, she hasn't quite got the 10 today. The teammates sort of picking up their score. Okay, stay off. Yeah. Perhaps the wind's Tempo. just picking up a little bit there. Well, it was around about 2.4 mark Keep at talking. the start. Tempo. Well, just complete <laughs> and utter focus here. Ming Chin is doing so well today. Oh, just drifting out oh, there, no. that's still going to count as a nine. It's got the line though, Miss Huang. Yeah, yeah they'll What's be happy with nines at this, yeah. this point in the Always game. Low. Yeah. Especially as Russia's trailing quite a lot. How X. Oh, lovely shot. <laughs> yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Keep in focused, steamy yeah. Shanghai, it's Together. Chinese Taipei with the advantage in the gold medal match. Oh, Natalia won't be very happy with that. She, uh, she's been getting loads of tens today. Long hold. Oh, but does it matter? No. She's got her first ten. All right, Yushuan. Be ready. Strong in tempo, yeah? Well, yeah. the Russians tempo. have picked it up here. Yeah. Yeah. Is it enough, though? They're still trailing by four if Chinese Taipei max this out. Hey. 
Out, stand. Ah. Ah, uh, maybe just out. With each nine, Russia can creep closer and closer to the Chinese Taipei score. No, a two nines. Oh. Big okay. movement okay. Good shot. from Huang there. She it's pulls away. She just releases the arrow. That's, is that normal? It could be for her. I am. Um, every archer's technique is slightly different, so it could be a, a tension thing. <laughs> oh, three nines. That's Five not goal. like them. Well, it's they've okay. been nailing the tens throughout this gold medal match, Chinese okay. Taipei. Second again. But Correct. when it came down okay. to it, three it's nines means Russia are the back within battle. one. Yeah, I mean, the okay. scores were 58-58 like and then a 56, which is very low for them. Whereas Russia's consistent 57-57-57 seems to have kept them up there. Slow and steady wins the race. Could so be. So they think. So your, your last one, I like the... The Russians will have to close the gap Don't worry. by a further one just to draw level. Now, what happens? Because of this accumulative score, you can catch back up, of course, as we're okay. seeing the Russians do. But if we get to the end of the uh, four ends yeah. and the, tie, the score is tied, what happens? Uh, so in which way, if the uh, arrows are exactly the same score, then what will happen is the archers will shoot one arrow each and it will be the highest score win. So you're looking for a possible 30 points. One more end. And uh, if they have got a perfect 30 points each, then what will happen is they'll then look at the arrow that's closest to the middle. There you go. So it's almost like a half-end shootout. Yeah, exactly, exactly like that. Well, it happens very often here in archery. We are in the gold medal match here in the women's team compound event. Russia Last trailing one, Chinese ladies, Taipei, yeah. but only powerful. by a point. They'll shoot first in the final end. Focus on us, yeah. Just us. That's a 10. She shot so well today. Really boosts morale for your teammates if you get that first shot in the 10. Crucial, isn't it? That first arrow just to settle the nerves for the team. Oh, yeah, just like that. Well, they've been bubbling away, getting 57s throughout, but the Russians have come to the boil and at the perfect time. Chinese Taipei have to keep their wits about them. Oh. I mean, they've been, you know, steadily increasing their lead, but that's not going to help them. It's okay, you swear. Now it's nice. Just a little low. Coach trying to keep them rallied, trying to keep their spirits buoyed. Oh, eight! You can hear the you can hear the crowd behind them. That that gasp. That oh, you know they want their team to succeed. So. Do I make So if I was that team, I would move my sight just as she's done there. You know that the arrows are going off slightly to the left. So three more arrows from both teams, and Chinese Taipei were in control of this, but the ten. in the, the final end, it's Russia who are absolutely nailing it here. Just when they needed it as well. Oh, a nine, a uh, chink in the armor. And if they get a 10, that is a two point lead. Oh. Okay, just 
practicing. So yeah. 58, which is their highest score in any of the ends so far. Out of a possible 60, dropping two in the last two arrows. Even if Chinese Taipei get 10, 10, 10. Unfortunately, it's not enough. They're only going to score 56, but uh, they've already dropped one. So hard, though, isn't it? This is, uh, you know, you, you know what the outcome is going to be in terms of the final result. How do you, do, can you just relax then and just shoot? I really, no job, I really down. feel for them. Look, the, the arrows just, you can see the windsock in the background there. It's trailing to the left. That means the arrows going to the left. I really feel for them because they got 58, 58. And then that 56 just added the pressure. And this last shot of the match, a nine. Good job. So Chinese Taipei, they led from the start the first two ends, but a big hiccup in the third end opened the door for the Russians. And whilst the Chinese Taipei's performance was dipping, the Russians came to the boil. And boy, they were brilliant here today. They are the deserving gold medalists of the women's team you, compound here at the Hyundai Archery World Cup stage one in Shanghai. And there is confirmation and a salute to their loyal supporters in the crowd. Oh, Lucy, what a turnaround. What a turnaround. Okay, you it's uh, you so think interesting. About this it yeah? wasn't a huge turnaround for the Russian team. For they had a 57, 57, 57, and then and a 58. The so they were just number so consistent. Three, not good. As you can see right. here with Last this beautiful graphic, the finish, Russians just kept stronger. those tens up. Yeah. Chinese we'll Taipei just Turkey. drifting off to the left there. Yeah. Just, just a few too many arrows drifting. But the turnaround was really when the. Uh, when the Chinese Taipei had a mini collapse in that third end. Yeah, and you could yep. hear their coach talking to them, saying, you know, focus on us, keep keep the focus with us. And um, yeah, it just, just maybe the nerves got to them. The Russian team obviously have been in these finals so many times. And uh, maybe just that experience wins out there. Well, Russia were consistent. They made it right their way through as we pick up on some of the highlights of uh, a brilliant gold medal match. It's Russia who will stand on top of the podium later on, and Chinese Taipei pick up the silver medal here in Shanghai. Well, the beautiful skyline here in Shanghai. It's a little bit moist here today in terms of the humidity. But here is uh, the schedule for the rest of today. So we've had our two medal matches in the women's team event. And we've got uh, the men's team bronze and men's team gold in compound to come a little bit later on today. Yeah, it'll be exciting. We've got India versus France in the bronze, Korea versus USA in the gold. But before we uh, get to that, we are going to have a medal ceremony. Brilliant conditions for the spectators here. And it's been pretty lively here. And there'll be time for big rounds of applause now as we go to the medal ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Kampong women team. Well, here we go. It's time for the medals to be awarded in the women's compound team event. Medals were represented by World Archery Vice President,
，颁发奖杯的是国家体育总局射击射箭运动管理中心副主任、中国射箭协会副主席。Trophies will be presented by Shooting and Archery Center Deputy Director General Li Jingsong. Bronze medal representing Netherlands, Martin Kuvenberg, Cyan Diat, Martin Kuvenberg. Zion Digart. Jody Vermeulen. Winner of the medal is from the Chinese Taipei. The silver medal representing Chinese Taipei. Chen Yixian, Wang Naiju, Li Mingqing, Winner of the medal is from Russia. Gold medal representing Russian Federation. Natalia Avdiva. Victoria Bajanova. Alexandra Semakuba Nishman, Shenshman Now, Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the National Anthem of Russian Federation.